But the reality is, I mean, if your pricing exceptions are, you know, as high as uh, on average, let's say 80 basis points, then you're not pricing your loans right. I mean, your company's obviously not pricing the loans to where they need to be priced. But setting that aside, there are there are best practices to ensure that you don't run into fair lending issues with it. A lot of pricing exemptions or exceptions take place at the loan officer level, and companies should really have someone else approving a, uh, a, an exception. Either either a branch manager or someone else should be a pro, uh, should be approving these. Uh, these pricing exceptions. What the government looks for, what the CFPB especially looks for, is that you document certain things when you're giving a pricing exception. The first thing is they want to know that the consumer asked for it. Because they believe what's happening out there from a discrimination perspective, they believe that what's happening is Loan officers are voluntarily telling people you can get a pricing exception or exemption from me, but they're only telling certain people and they're not telling everyone. And they think that is discriminatory in nature. And the reality is, you know, the test under the Fair Housing Act and the test under ECOA really should be, how's pricing look? Am I charging a group, you know, am I, you know, based on race, ethnicity or something else along those lines, am I charging that group more for their loan products than I am, you know, another group? That's problematic. But if overall your pricing is okay, the fact that your numbers may be a little bit off in terms of how many exemptions you do, that shouldn't be a problem.